Beloved brothers and sisters, the time of warnings is upon us. The words I bring today are not merely reflections on the world state, but divine warnings from Our Lady to Miryana, a messenger of truth and light. These are not words of comfort, but of deep concern for the fate of humanity. We are now standing on the edge of a precipice, and the ground beneath us trembles with a forewarning of what is to come. In this message, a grave truth is revealed. Cities once thriving with life and energy may soon be buried beneath waves of earth, engulfed by landslides as nature rebels against our indifference. This is a moment to listen, to reflect, and most importantly, to act. There is no more time for delay. Our Lady's words are not only a call for repentance, but a call for awareness. If we do not heed her warnings, we risk witnessing the collapse of our cities, not just physically, but spiritually. Today, I bring you this prophetic message with a sense of urgency and hope that it will stir your hearts to respond before it is too late. Our Lady's message to Miryana, one of the visionaries of Medjugorje, is clear and solemn. In her apparition, she warned, the time for repentance is nearing its end and humanity is approaching a critical point. These words resonate like a drumbeat, echoing through time, calling us to open our eyes to the approaching danger. The earth itself is crying out in response to humanity's spiritual decline, and nature, once harmonious with our existence, is now becoming an agent of divine correction. As Our Lady revealed, landslides will soon sweep across the globe, burying cities beneath waves of soil and stone. This is no longer a distant possibility. It is an imminent reality, a warning of the Earth's revolt against the sins of indifference, materialism, and the loss of spiritual direction. From the sacred grounds of Medjugorje, the voice of the Virgin Mary is not a whisper, but a resounding call that can no longer be ignored. The picturesque hills of Italy, famed for their beauty and tranquility, are now foreseen as harbingers of disaster. Our Lady's message speaks of the lands of Italy, where cities built upon ancient foundations will be torn apart by the shifting earth. The land has become weakened by human negligence and environmental exploitation. Rome, the city of faith, stands vulnerable as the very ground beneath it is unstable, signaling the fragility of the spiritual foundation upon which it was built. Landslides will cascade down the hills, bearing entire communities under rubble. Villages clinging to mountainsides will be swept away in moments of sheer devastation, leaving nothing but silence where vibrant life once thrived. The sins of pride, of building higher and higher without consideration for the Creator, will be answered by the Earth's leveling force. This is not a threat, but a reality foretold, one that can only be mitigated through collective repentance and prayer. Our Lady's prophetic voice stretches across the seas, reaching the Americas, where the mighty mountain ranges stand as symbols of strength and endurance. Yet the very mountains that once protected and provided will become instruments of destruction. The time of mercy is ending, and the justice of the Lord will soon unfold. The towering peaks of the Rockies and the Andes, those grand monuments of natural power, will release their grip on the earth sending torrents of rock and debris down into the valleys below. In cities nestled beneath these mountains, places of prosperity and peace, there will be no warning when the earth begins to move. It will happen swiftly, as if in a moment of divine judgment. The land will swallow roads, homes, and families alike. The forces of nature, long disregarded and taken for granted, will remind humanity of its dependence on the Creator's will. This moment of reckoning is not meant to invoke terror, but reflection. What is our place in this world if we continue to live in spiritual blindness? In the East, where temples and sacred spaces rise from the earth as monuments to the divine, there too will come a collapse of the natural world. Landslides will not only destroy the physical foundations of cities, but will symbolize the crumbling of spiritual foundations as well. Our Lady's message to Merjana speaks of Asia as a continent where ancient spiritual wisdom is being overshadowed by modern materialism. In places like Nepal, where mountains reach into the heavens, and in Japan, where people live in harmony with nature, the Earth's fury will strike. Mountains will shift, and entire regions will be swallowed by the moving land. The people who live beneath these peaks, who have forgotten their connection to the divine, will face the stark reality of their vulnerability. The sacred spaces, 
long revered, will become ruins. Not because they are cursed, but because humanity has abandoned the reverence and prayer that once sustained them. This is a call to return, to rebuild not just cities, but the very fabric of faith that holds us together as children of God. Further north, Europe will not escape the prophecy. From the cliffs of Scandinavia to the highlands of Scotland, landslides will come as silent invaders in the night. Our Lady's warning is that these lands, once strongholds of Christian faith, have drifted far from the light of God. Now the physical landscape will mirror the spiritual erosion that has taken place. The ground, once solid, will give way beneath cities that have grown complacent in their spiritual slumber. The fall of these cities, buried under earth and rock, will serve as a reminder that no nation, no matter how seemingly stable, can stand without God. This is the time for Europe to awaken, to return to the roots of faith that once made it a beacon of light in a dark world. The landslides will come, not as random acts of nature, but as warnings that the era of divine mercy is coming to an end. Those who heed these signs will find safety in the arms of God's protection. Those who continue in indifference will face the consequences. These landslides are not mere natural disasters. They are symbols of humanity's deeper crisis. The earth itself, which once nurtured and sustained us, is responding to the spiritual void we have allowed to grow. Every mountain that collapses, every city that is buried beneath the soil, is a reflection of the internal collapse of faith and morality across the globe. Our Lady's message is not simply about physical destruction, but about the spiritual landslides that are already taking place within our hearts. As Our Lady de Mirjana has repeatedly emphasized, humanity's indifference to God's call, its obsession with material wealth, and its neglect of prayer and penance are driving forces behind these coming calamities. The landslides are metaphors for the spiritual decay that has gone unchecked for too long, but they are also real, physical events that will sweep across the earth if we do not act. Beloved children, the time to act is now. Our Lady's message is clear. Landslides will bury cities, but they need not bury our souls. The path to salvation lies before us, and it begins with prayer, penance, and conversion. This is not a moment for despair, but for hope, for the Virgin Mary has not abandoned us. Her words are filled with maternal love, calling us back to the safety of God's embrace. Prayer is the first step. Let us take up the rosary, as Our Lady has asked, and offer it daily as a plea for divine mercy. Through prayer, we can find the strength to change our hearts, to turn away from the distractions of this world, and to refocus on what truly matters, our relationship with God. Penance and fasting are the second steps. By offering personal sacrifices, we unite ourselves with Christ's suffering and help to purify not only our own souls, but the world around us. This is the path to healing, both for ourselves and for the earth. Finally, conversion is the ultimate goal. Our Lady calls each of us to change our ways, to return to God with open hearts and to live in accordance with His will. This is not an abstract call, it is a daily commitment to love, to faith, and to service. Only through sincere conversion can we hope to avert the worst of the coming disasters. The landslides may come, but they need not bury our spirits. If we respond to this urgent call, we can find refuge in God's mercy and hope for a future of peace. Now is the time to act. Time is running out, but hope is not. Will you heed the warning? Will you stand in prayer, in penance, in faith? The choice is ours, but the moment of decision is here.